Hi guys, Debbie from Resin Hut. So, look at this beauty. I actually bought two of them. So I've got that one there and this one here. Now this one takes, I think it's just under 1.1 litres, which is pretty big. This one takes 900. Obviously that's with water. Um, I, do, I do like them. I bought it off of somebody who was getting rid of a few of his moulds. He is part of our little family. So I will ask him if he's able to put a link to where he got this mould from. Because obviously I don't know because I got it from him. Now the plan today is I'm going to double it. So 1.8 litres. So it's a whopping amount of jasmineite. What I want to do, I'm going to do it in two halves. So the first lot, I'm going to do it in just the straight blue. But before I do that, I'm going to use these. Now, I've used these before in my videos. Pack of eight from Amazon. I can put the link on there if you want me to again. The two colors I'm going to be using is Platina Silver and Chain Mall Silver. So one's just slightly darker than the other. So the plan is... I'm going to paint directly onto the mold, just a few patches and stripes, etc., going around. I'm then going to fill half of it up with the blue. Hopefully, hopefully, guys, I don't get any bubbles. With the second half, I'm not going to put any color into it. I'm going to leave it as the natural jasmineite. But again, I'm going to do the patterns, etc. On the top half of the mold and then pull the jasmine out in so guys I'm gonna get cracking because obviously this is a big mold and it's gonna take some time for me to mix all this up but I'll mix the first 900 milliliters up or grams up and show you what I'm gonna do with the painting on this this is a little bit easier than the naked lady statue because I'm able to actually pull it out and do it now the one thing you won't see on the camera is this has actually got really, really fine lines going up of it. You can keep those lines or you can just sand them off because they're really, really fine lines. But I do like them. I'm not quite sure if it's going to match what I want to do today. So the nice part about it is it'll give that patchwork effect when I do put it directly onto it. So let me get cracking. Just got to find my brush. And as always, I'm just going to put a little bit on the end of my brush like this. I mean, all in all, I think I'm using about, I'd say about four drops all in all. Now, all I'm going to do is literally just put a few of the silver at the bottom. And I'm hoping, with me putting a colour on, that it'll still pick up the silver once it's done. Bit of put on the inside as well, I suppose. I'm literally just, I'm not, I'm not an artist, guys, so I'm literally just squashing it in to the mold and because it's got the lines on it does actually give it a natural effect which I really really like um, <clears throat> so let's just do that now it's going to take another drop I'd say just to finish the inside of it let's hope that this works I'm not going to do these here. I'm going to leave these plain because I'm going to do that after I've done my first pour. Just so I can get some type of an idea on how much more I'm going to need to use in this. So I think that's enough. So I'll leave that. Actually, just use, the, use some of it that's... a little bit on top because like I said it's got this lined effect I don't know if you can see that on the video when you do that there's a kind of a 
blind effect going through but just sort of wants it a little bit patchy and sort of all over the place like dirty almost like a dirty a dirty pattern it's not in there's no structure to what i'm doing guys it's literally just going by however i want to go so again it's just art isn't it so actually you might actually be able to see i don't know if you can see it on the pattern because there's the patterns on the outside as well anyway Right, guys, I'm going to get cracking. I'm going to pause you quickly while I mix up the 900 um, grams of jasmineite, and I'll be back to do the pour, and then um, we'll see how it goes. All right, guys, I'm back. So all in all, I put about 35 drops of the blue in here, and lo and behold, my little hand mixer has stopped working. So I've got it back on charge again now. Let me just grab a little one. It always seems to break, well not break, but it always seems to stop working when I'm mixing up the biggest, biggest lot. Right. So let's give this a go. Gosh, it's taking me so long to do this that I'm panicking that it's already starting to set. It's already thickening up. Right, I had to use this horrible jug again. I absolutely hate this jug. I really do need to invest in a, a nice big silicon jug. Right, let's just see if I can get some of all this out. I better stand up because this jug is so big I can't actually sit down and mix it, especially not mixing it by hand. Right, now I should be able to do it. Right. I think... This might actually be one of the times when I... My double... Doubling the... Um, doesn't work as in it's already enough because I think that's it's hard to say because obviously the bottom is slightly thinner than what the top is but it sort of should all level out anyway anyway guys I'm going to tap away whoopsie daisy like this one because it's quite bouncy so you can really get smacking I might I might actually um, mix up a little bit less for the second pour I think So I don't want, want way too much over because I mean I can fill a few a few of my smaller molds but I don't want to be wasting too much of this stuff as we know it's really expensive. Right guys I'm going to pause you there because I'm going to carry on banging for the next couple of minutes and see if I can get all the bubbles. I think what I'm going to do guys I might actually change my mind you know me indecisive and I might actually do the top level with the silver and make it sort of the silver maybe do more I've just obviously just got to wipe this away and then maybe paint it a lot more a lot more silver on the, on the um, inside of this and on the bottom we'll see what the finishing product is all right guys I'll be back in a sec Okay, guys, so on the first one, I did 910 altogether, and this one I'm doing 770. What I've done is I've just added 
a little bit of those two different colors the, of the silvers into the actual liquid and then obviously mixed it up and then I've added the powder. Um, I'm gonna, I did add quite a lot, I'd say about 10 drops of each. Um, and it has actually come out this beautiful, like a grayish type silver, which is really, really nice. I, I, I quite like it. Not that impressed with the blue. I was really wanting a darker blue, but thanks to my amazing little stirrer that went flat on me, that backfired. Right, I'm just going to... Get the bubbles now you'll see I don't know if you can see on the camera but some of the silver's coming up that's because I've painted a little bit more into it all right where's my straw right. just makes it so much easier when you've got a mixer this by hand is near impossible. Oops, it's going everywhere, guys. Sounds like I'm ringing the bell every time I do this. <laughs> Right, let's do the rest. I'm going to have some left over. So on this occasion, I think it might it might actually work out well. The 1.75. Just going to just quickly. Right, guys, I am going to carry on banging away, and I will be back in about 20 minutes 25 minutes to um, unmold and hopefully this silver and blue has actually come out really nice like I said I'm not that impressed with the blue I really wanted a navy blue but unfortunately when you haven't got your mixing tools you have to improvise but let's see what happens all right guys i will be back in half hour to unmold this puppy i'll see you in a sec right guys so it's been about i'd say 35 40 minutes since i did the second pour so we are going to oh wow okay I've changed my mind. I do like the blue from what I can see. The only thing is, how am I going to get this out? Oh dear. This is going to be one of those molds that's going to require an extensive amount of elbow grease. You definitely don't want to be taking this out the mold too early because it would just snap it off. Right. Actually, it's not as difficult as what I thought. Just try and create a little bit of air and get it out like that. Oh wow, okay. I've changed my mind guys, I like the blue. Um, as you can see, the silver that I've painted on has come off in the mould, which is exactly what I wanted. And there's one little hole there. Well, there's one little hole on each corner, so obviously that must be right at the bottom of the mould. So considering, I mean, I can just file those down, but I, oops, I don't know if you can see these lines on this mould. Oh, I wish you could see this for real, guys. This is, oh, wow, that's all I can say. I'm actually really happy with this blue. It's, um, I didn't think I'd like it because I really wanted the navy, but... Obviously underneath, as always, horrible. 
I should have maybe, well actually I might just actually put a little bit, of, once I've sanded I'll put a little bit of silver on there, even though you're not going to see it, but I wish you could see, I wish you could see these lines on this mould, I absolutely love them. Um, yeah, really, really happy with that and then inside as well. I don't know if you can see the lines, but I'll bring it really close. There you go. I think the camera's got that. So it's got these natural lines on this mould. Really love it. Really, really happy with it. All in all, guys, this took um, 1,650. So 1 1 just, under, just over 1.5 litres. So not quite the 1.75, but pretty close to it. So... Obviously, I've written that down, so next time I know. But I really like this white that I mixed, mix a little bit of the silver with it. But obviously, this is all this is all the stuff that I've painted onto the mold. But um, hate the bottom. <laughs> but what do you think, guys? Um, I'm I'm really impressed with this mold. I love the lines on it. It's just so unusual. I've never seen a mould like this before, hence the reason why I bought this. But anyway, guys, um, I will obviously get this sanded down. I'm not going to do that now because this is actually my second video today. I did the Naked Lady earlier, which I'm most probably going to just upload both of them at the same time. Um, but I hope you like this. I hope you found it useful. Um, like I said, the one thing you need, need to be careful with when you're painting straight onto the mould First off, make sure that you wash your mould out straight away afterwards because it will stain the mould if you leave it on there. And the second thing I'll say is this, if you had to sand this, all the silver would come off. So you do need to put a protective coating on this. Because I haven't got any bubbles in this, I'm not touching it. The only thing I will be doing is the corners because there's those four pesky little holes in the corners. But considering, guys... This is the first time I've done this mould. I'm actually really happy with it. I think I would have still preferred maybe a little bit of a darker blue. But all in all, I'm happy. Anyway, guys, as always, as I always say, if you did enjoy the, this, the movie, listen to me. If you did enjoy this video and you did find it useful, give us a thumbs up. If you would like to see more along these lines, I am going to be doing this one soon as well. I haven't quite decided what I'm going to do with this. This again has got the lines on it. So really excited about doing that. But that's going to take a little bit more than my small, I say smaller one, but you know what I mean, smaller in, in volume. Um, but all in all, really happy. But if you did find it useful, give us a thumbs up. I've just repeated myself. Sorry, guys. Um, if you did find it helpful in any way and you'd like to see more videos, pop something in the comments what you'd like me to do and I'll most certainly give it a bash. And if you'd like to join our little family that's growing, um, I couldn't believe when I'd looked the other day and there was like 170 people that it must be getting something from me. So that's a good thing. <laughs> At least I hope so, guys. Um, anyway, guys, as always, take care of yourself. Take care of your family. And I'll see you guys all soon again. Bye.